I have to do a mock-up on a couple of different Christmas ornaments so I can take some product pictures for my website. I thought you might want to come along because I'll be using the camera today on LaserNug. So I have three different pieces of material. They're all 1 8 inch, which means I can put them all into the bed of this Nova Plus. Whereas previously with the bolt with a 12 by 20 inch bed, I had to do one piece at a time, take it out, send the file, put the next piece in. So we're going to utilize the camera function today so I can cut them all at once. Let's do it. Before we go into light burn, we're going to set up the laser. I'm going to take my dust cap off of my camera. We're going to fire up the Nova Plus. These ornaments have some really, really tiny, tiny fonts I need to engrave on them. So we're going to swap out our two and a half and get the one and a half inch lens in here just so I can get that extra clarity and crispness. We're good. I'm going to calibrate my air assist control. Confirm my default pressure of 0.3 and then I'm going to test both my low and high volume. Make sure my air pressures are where I want them. I'm going to place my materials in. I have two different types of true flat and I've got a piece of mirrored acrylic, all 1 8. And I'm just going to drop a few lay flat pins in there to keep them in place. And we're going to autofocus. And lastly, we're just going to move our laser head out of the way. In Lightburn here, I've got all my files already set up. Just for reference, this was the basic file or design file that I purchased. There are a couple of different versions. And as you can see, I've used three of the versions. I've got some engraves here, which are not a bad side. But right here on the top of these little snow people's hats, this is the really tiny font I've got there which is why I swapped out and went down to the 1.5 inch lens. These pieces here are for acrylic and because it's mirrored acrylic, I've already reversed or mirrored the image. I've got three that I need to create. So I've grouped all three of these together. This will end up on the maple true flat. This grouping is going to end up on the white true flat. And lastly, this grouping here is going to get engraved and cut out of the mirrored acrylic. I have all of my layers already assigned from my material library here. My laser is on the Nova. It's ready. You'll see here that, as always, I try to make sure I always engrave first, do any scoring, and then I cut. And then these last two, this fill and this line, are for the acrylic. So I have them all prioritized correctly. They're in the right order. I'm going to grab these guys here, just move them out of my workspace for now so that the, the bed is clear. And let's just grab this guy here. And now I'm going to come over here to my camera control. If you don't have the camera control on your tabs, it's pretty simple. You can go into the window tab and come down and you'll find camera control right here. You click it and highlight it and it'll show up on your tabs here. Under camera control, I am going to, oh geez, it's already there. So we've got a picture of it. I'm going to update my overlay. When you update overlay, it's going to bring that camera into your work bed. Let's give her a click. That's what I'm seeing. I'm going to turn off the fade so I can see a little clearer. And now what I'd like to do is I'm going to line up my pieces. So here's my mirrored acrylic. So I'm going to grab the mirrored acrylic pieces, bring them down, and I'm going to place them where I need to place them. Let me fade this again. That's better. Now I can see it better. Excellent. We'll place those right here. I'm going to grab my little snow people, and these are going on the white true flat. So we're going to put them right here. I've got them right to the edge there, don't I? Excellent. Should be fine. 
Okay, and then my last guys are these fellows here. We're going to run them over onto the maple tree flat. Let me just highlight that. And I think those will work perfectly. Okay, I've got them placed, centered where they need to go. I'm going to highlight everything. Yep, that's what it looks like. You'll notice that whenever you use the camera, your start from always changes automatically to absolute coordinates because that's what the laser is going to use to find your spots and where it needs to cut and engrave. We're ready. Everything's in good shape. Let's send it and run it on the Nova Plus. I've already autofocused because you always autofocus before you begin using the camera. It's on absolute coordinates, so remember, do not push the origin button. What I am going to do is I'm going to pull up my file. And there it is. And you certainly can frame if you'd like. So let's give it a frame. And now we can start our job. Another benefit of using this camera is when you've got a lot of offcuts or scraps, like these pieces here. You can just place them around and then use the camera so you can take whatever pieces you design and place them exactly where you need them. So you can use them up instead of putting them in one at a time and then trying to set an origin on each one individually. Just take all of your offcuts, put them all in, and that way you can use up as much of that material as you can. Pretty efficient. So on the acrylic, I left the protective film on the bottom side, so she's nice and clean, engraved on the back. And for the true flat, as you folks know, just water in a rag cleans it right up nice and pretty. Let's get them cleaned up. I think my settings were a little strong here because I I think I use the settings that I usually use when I put mask on it sometimes. So I've got a little more burn on some of the edges than I normally get. So I'll have to either mask or reduce those settings a little bit so I don't get as harsh a burn. All cleaned up pretty quick. Got a little aggressive there and I think I, I took off a little piece of mama's bow. But uh, other than that, they all cleaned up nice. I'm going to put them together now. Just a, a quick suggestion for you folks, especially when it comes to ornaments. Don't be as rough as I am when I'm cleaning them because you've got really tiny pieces. Second thing is if you're working with acrylic and putting them together or assembling your pieces, try to always use gloves because remember, acrylic will show every fingerprint, every one of them. And lastly, if you're making pieces as production pieces that you're going to be making over and over again, just take a few minutes out and make a jig. And that way, every piece is high quality. All of your layers are exactly perpendicular or parallel or square, I guess is the right word. And you don't have to worry about trying to eyeball it and get them into place before your 3M sticks. I like using a lot of mirrored acrylic on my Christmas ornaments and decorations because one, you're able to get light through the back, plus the mirror itself kind of reflects all of those holiday colors coming off of the Christmas tree or in the, in the room. 
Either way, we're wrapped up. I think I'm out of ribbon, so I'm going to throw some jute rope on these, and then I'm going to get my product pictures done. I hope you enjoyed hanging out today. That camera function, super handy, especially in opportunities such as this. And using that one and a half inch lens really made those tiny little fonts nice and crisp and clear. That's a wrap for another video. I hope you have a great week. Have fun with your lasers. Be kind to each other, and I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.